Hello and welcome to another video course on Millionaire by 25. Hope you're doing great. Today we're going to be talking about how we can further implement the strategy that you guys learned in the last lesson. I'm going to be showing you a few really cool things on how you can further implement the keyword strategy to really start blowing up your YouTube channel. So don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop a video. The video course will start right after the intro. Welcome back. So on this video course today, we will be covering first how to implement the keyword strategy for your channel in videos. Secondly, how to set channel keywords and then how to write default description and then set it as a default description in your settings. How to set upload defaults and how you further implement the strategy going forward so you know exactly what to do and how to do it. So now let's go into how you can implement your keyword strategy for your own channel and your own video. Now that you've done my secret keyword strategy, now you've understood our secret SEO keyword strategy, you should now have a list of around 5 to 10 keywords that you are going to be putting in every single video that you upload. Now you need to implement these keywords into the end of your tag and within your description. I'm going to be going a little bit into how you can write a really good description for your video too. But you need to implement this in both your tag and description. And then finally, you need to set your channel keywords as these tags. You might not know what the channel keywords are yet, but I'm going to be showing you exactly what they are and exactly how to implement them correctly. So a lot of people implement channel keywords wrong. So you need to make sure that you watch this video because I'm going to be showing you how to implement these keywords correctly. Now first, writing a default description. What is a default description? A default description is a portion at the end of every single description of every single video that you upload. That portion will include your list of 5 to 10 keywords. Now this doesn't just mean putting your keywords randomly into your description but actually writing them into your description with coherent sentences. And this is a really important key because it's actually against YouTube terms of service if you're just stuffing keywords into your description, like just putting a list of keywords. I see a lot of people do that. They just put at the end of their description like tag list and then they put a bunch of keywords. We're not going to be doing that. We're actually going to be writing a portion of our description that contains our list of keywords and contains it in coherent sentences. This is a really important key that we must include. So I'm going to actually go within YouTube to show you how you can set this to be default on all your future descriptions as well. So here I'm going to be showing you guys how to implement the keyword process that was discussed on the other video. So if you've not checked it out, all you need to do is go check it out. There's going to be a link on the description so you can just click on it and see the previous video course. So this is just an example. So let's say your channel is going to run for weight loss. This is also a very nice feature of vidIQ that gives you an overall score. Let's take an example of one of the videos which I open here on a different tab. Now there you can see that vidIQ also shows what every channel has done right and what every channel has done wrong. So you can see that this creator's title is too long. She didn't add tags. She doesn't have a pinned comment which is not good. And the tags that she's trying to rank for should have been included in her video description description but she didn't so this is one advantage of using the vid iq it helps you analyze other creators helps you also analyze your own channel so now you can see that these tags which she's trying to rank for which is related to weight loss are not in her description what she puts in her description are like my cookbook so she's trying to drive traffic to her affiliate products which is good uh another means of generating income we talked about that in one of our video course you can check that out we have a video course on affiliate marketing we would also leave that on the description of this video but that aside this video can definitely be optimized better she can add her tags and her description which she didn't obviously she's a big creator 
It just tells you that even people that are not doing the right thing can succeed on YouTube, but I wouldn't want you to go that way. So if you do the right thing from the very beginning, then definitely you have a chance of making it big time on YouTube for sure. Yeah. So this is just an example of one of our videos that we are trying to upload. So again, you have a keyword that you want to rank for. So you want to make sure that the keywords are placed rightly as much as possible in your title and also in your description. You also want it to enter seamlessly like nice little sentences and then this is the session for tags for each videos. So another nice little feature of VidIQ is that it suggests tags for you that you can rank for and you can just put them in and then it gives you an overall score. So this tag is like 63, 52. You can see the overall scores here and you want to keep your tag above 60, 70. Those are really good tags to put in your description. Anything less than 50, you probably would not rank for it. But it's so nice to have vidIQ give you options to pick from as against trying to figure it out all by yourself. So let's go into how to implement these on the channel level. If you go to your dashboard, you go to settings and then you go to your upload defaults, then you click upload defaults here. You can add like a default title, but that will not make sense because every video is going to have a different title and then you can put a default description. So this, your default description should be like one paragraph, no more than one paragraph that contains all your channel keywords. And these are the keywords that you have gathered, which we discussed in our previous video. So now you just want to put those keywords in sentence and make them appear natural. Again, you don't want to stuff in keywords and make it look like something that is not understandable. Okay, let them flow like sentences and that description is going to appear in every single video. So that means every single video that you upload is going to be optimized for those particular set of keywords that you are trying to run for. So you also want to add those same keywords in your channel tags. So these are tags that you want your channel to run for. You also want to have the names of your channel in your channel tag so that when you put such a name on your YouTube, your channel can appear. Okay. Then you want to just put in those tags here and then you're good to go for sure. So you can see the tags for this channel, how to make money. And then you can change your upload defaults to either public, private or unlisted. Now I'll just change this to private. What this means is that when you upload a video, the video remains private and it's not going to be live immediately for people to see. Then you can go into your advanced settings and you can decide to change how your videos are used. Now you want it to have a standard YouTube license or creative common attribution. So I prefer creative common attribution. I just want people to have the permission to use my videos as long as they transform the contents. This means that you cannot copy the videos exactly, but you can add more useful information to it to make it much more informative and then you can use it. These are just like nicely channeled defaults that you can add. The main thing we're interested in is the description and the tag for sure. So ensure that you have your keywords in your video title, your video description and your video tags. You can always drop your question on the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click on the notification bell icon to get notified when we drop the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video course.